Red Lady 30G, exhibited by Silver Creek Simmental's Milestone Saskatchewan. That heifer will be in tonight's sale as well. Our class in the ring here on the Simmental side uh, now is the Senior Division Champion in Reserve, and this class is sponsored by Crossroad Farms, as well as Pheasant Dale Cattle Company. And representatives from those two establishments are certainly welcome to come up to the announcers area and present their awards if they wish to do so. Our senior futurity champion, entry number 3267, SVS Lynn 904G, exhibited by Sunny Valley Simmental's Hanley, Saskatchewan. And our reserve senior futurity champion, 3273, Erickson Lady 78G, exhibited by Erickson Simmental's Clavette, Saskatchewan. Ladies and gentlemen in the Simmental ring, let's have a nice round of applause for our senior and reserve senior futurity heifers. Once again, that class sponsored by Crossroad Farms and Pheasant Dale Cattle Company. Thank you very much to those sponsors. Larry, back to you. And a 
Okay, here's Shannon with his comments on this uh, fifth split of calendar year heifer cows on the Speckle Park side. I guess it wouldn't be the first time I, somebody's ever told me I was out in the dark. This class here, you know, we've got lots of different styles. We've got different types. We've got different kinds, different colors. This heifer that I'm starting off with, she's just one that puts it all together for me. I, I really like, you know, the throat and the brisket in this heifer, the way she ties it back into her heart. She's smooth-shouldered, she's deep-sided, she's big-hipped, big-topped, but yet all of that, she's still smooth. She still puts it all together. She's just one, she's very fluent in her movement, just one that after I analyze these and the cattle and the lights come back on, I brought the black heifer back out and I just analyzed them si on the side view and she just comes to the top for me, a very nice individual. The black heifer, again, throws a wrench into me. I mean, I wasn't expecting any solid colored cattle to come out here today, but she's just an animal. I really like the extension in the neck. I like the shoulder. I like the rib shape. I like the hip. As I analyze her from the side, back into that flank and in the bottom of that belly, I just like to drop her a little bit. She's a very eye appealing individual. She's got ample bone heifer I really really liked and when I start comparing her to the one in front of her I just would like to soften her up from the navel back if I could very nice heifer <clears throat> I've been preaching muscle all day we come to this heifer in third place but as a female does she have too much when I really look at her she's big top she's big hip she's nice shouldered for me going forward as a breeding female in my own opinion, I just think there's too much. And you'll never, anybody that knows me, I preach muscle, I preach big top cattle and big butted cattle, but when it comes to these females, I think I just like to soften that heifer up. She's got so much to offer. She just, in this class here today, I just really like to soften that heifer up. Very nice individual you have. We come to a heifer in fourth place a lot of classes, sir, you're at the top of the class. Very nice individual. She profiles so nice. When I analyze her from the back, just coming out of that tail head, maybe I'd like to just square her up in that hip a little bit. Very nice fronted, big ribbed heifer in a very tough class today. Come to the heifer in, in fifth hole. Uh, one maybe just a little finer in her makeup for me. She's deep sided and long bodied. I'd just maybe like to add a little bit of oomph to her. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, starting off this uh, fifth split on calendar year heifer calves in the Speckle Park side has entered 3450 Greenwood Gloria, DJP 154G, an entry of Greenwood Speckle Parks at Lloyd Minster, and that female is in the sale tonight. And then second in class is entry 3481, KFC Good as Gold, 75G, an entry of the KFC Farms at Abbotsford, BC. Third in class is entry 3445, Ravenworth Prairie Lily 104G, an entry of Ravenworth Cattle at Middle Lake. Fourth in class is entry 3488, Hales Creek Crystal Gal 4G, an entry of Hales Creek Farms at Kenton, Manitoba, and Cameron Dodds. And fifth in class is entry 3469, Second Chance Georgina 8G, an entry of the Second Chance Special Parks at Fairlight, Saskatchewan. Coming into the ring is our sixth split of uh, calendar year heifer calves. These females run, run in age from January 21st to January 28th. There should be six in the class.
Class is complete on the Simmons Hall side of the ring. Once again, our Judge Stepler with his comments on this class. Okay, what a powerful set of bred heifers that were coming in front of me and you guys, everybody watching in the stands. This pair of heifers that we have in the top of the class, what an awesome set of heifers. Uh, this top heifer, I just love the capacity and, and the rib cage in her, how strong top she is. She's super correct. She gets out in strides. This is a tremendous individual. There's no doubt about it. I did give the edge to her, just so I do believe she's just a little bit longer spine, maybe a little bit more neck extension than the, place, the heifer in the second hole. But what a tremendous heifer that follows that first place heifer in second. What a big barreled, super correct individual. A really strong pair to start off this class. Moving to my third place individual, yes, uh, there's no doubt she is not the fanciest made heifer in the world. There's no doubt that she's a little coarser made in the front, and yes, her tail head does go up just a little bit. But look at the capacity in the rib cage and how much natural thickness is in this heifer. This is a big heifer, and look how she strides and she's fluid. I like that about this heifer, and she's gonna move into my third place for me today. Moving to my fourth place heifer, this is a very stylish, feminine fronted made type into heifer. Maybe like to add a little bit more profile to her, maybe a little bit more thickness compete with the heifers above her. And then 